Hi there. In this screencast I will show you how to get the streaming prices from uh, TWS into your Python program. Uh, to start with I've got a, a TWS running here and it's in a simulated trading environment on my paper trading account. I've already configured it to enable the API which I'll show here. Just let me resize this a little bit. Here on the API tab, take a look at the settings where enable ActiveX and socket clients should be enabled. And you should also add the trusted IP address, the local IP to the to this list. Otherwise the program will ask you each time for confirmation. Alright, so this one is OK. And from here I can now start my spider, which already has got the code in here. And I can run it. So now what you see here is the program is running for 10 seconds and the streaming prices from the TWS are coming in this window as uh, as an output. Now a uh, short explanation of how this works. The uh, API of the uh, interactive brokers it uses callbacks. It means that uh, it has to get a function function that will be executed once an event takes place. So for example here I've created a function which is called price tick handler the uh, with an argument message the only thing this function does is it prints out the message when it's called here we got the piece of code that imports the IBPI uh, module and from there exactly we import the contract and IB connection and message uh, classes. Those are the minimum imports that are needed to run this code. To get this working, first a contract is created, which is C here, and some of the fields must be set first. Please refer to the manual of the API which fields are valid and which values you should use, but here I just using the spider as a stock on a smart exchange and the currencies in dollars and TWS is my IB connection class to get this uh, to ask for the data from the TWS I use the request market data which is also the same as in the uh, API manual and it requests the data for this contract with the um, the rest of the arguments according to the uh, documentation. This starts a process uh, in the background that fires off in events the messages which are then handled by this tick handler and the tick handler has been assigned with the register comment so what this does, it registers the price tick handler for types of tick price. So all the tick prices are handled by this function. And I can put any code in it that I would like to. So what happens here, the, um, uh, uh, the um, data is requested for this contract and then the program just slips for 10 seconds and in the background the events are being fired this function is being called and for 10 seconds we get the prices trimming in this window I will run this again run it starts from the beginning and you can see the price is coming in you get also the the field is the tick type and in the documentation of the API it shows which number cor is corresponding to bid ask last or other values well that's it for a moment and going from here 
we'll make a more elaborate example in the next string cast.